So here are the five free apps that I tried and tested during the month of March 2019. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. Over here, we do Photoshop tutorials, tech tricks, and app reviews, just like this one. If that's something that interests you, hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So without any further ado, let's jump into the five free apps of the month of March. Starting up, I have this app here called LED Keyboard. I don't know if it is called LED or LED, however you call it. But then this is a super cool app that you can try if you don't want to use the default app that was given to you by your phone. So basically what you do is the moment you download the app and then you open it, this is the first page that you see. So you select it and then you go and change it over here. As you can see, I'm using the Samsung keyboard now. So when I have or change it to English, that is the app here, super crispy. It gives you different variations of keyboard that you can use. So you choose the theme over here, the one that you prefer to use. So here is for the audio and here is for the language. You can change the language if you want to. So let's see how that basically applies. When you select the theme and then you go to WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever, and then you start typing, it basically changes the keyboard for us. Let's see how that works. So I'm here in WhatsApp and then basically the moment I start to type, this is what I'm having. Isn't this super crazy? Now you can change the team as well and then you're going to have, let's, let's pick this one and see how that one also works. So the moment you pick it, it just starts or changes for you. This is super nice. It gives you some sort of animation that makes the keyboard look super crazy, especially when you're using it at night. So if you don't want to use your default keyboard, I recommend this particular app for you. As to the settings, you can do a couple of settings over here. You can tell the keyboard as to whether it should suggest words for you. It should pop up some key when you press on the keys and then enter by self and all these things you can do the settings. It is very simple to use and very simple to set it up. So the link will be in the description. You can check it out. So next on my list is called Ada. A programmed app that basically helps you assess your sickness by assessing the symptoms and then providing you with a particular sickness and the recommendations that you might want to try it out. So if you open up, you just have to set it up. You sign in with your Gmail or you can sign up with any other email of yours. So this is the first phase that you're going to face with. And then when you go ahead to start assessment, you're basically going to start up with your assessment so you can do this for yourself or for somebody if your daughter your son is sick and then you don't know the particular sickness you can do this for that person so you go to myself i'm doing this for myself and then you start typing in what is happening to you so basically i'm going to start with um something like itching ear okay so you select it and then you move ahead so select same thing so you move on to the next one and then it asks you some couple of questions so you're going to answer all these questions and then it take you to the next one so you just answer these questions so i'm going to skip this part and get to where you it gives you the feedback as to what is happening to you and the necessary steps you have to take so after answering all the questions this is what you're going to get and then um, you press OK and then it takes you to the next one. So it is going to generate a report for you. So let's click on the generate report. So as you can see from here, I've already set up my name, my gender and then my date of birth. So basically it is going to give you this report and then tell you a lot more that it can do. So after everything, you click continue and then it asks you whether this was successful or helpful so you provide a feedback and then i go like yes so after this one it is going to save this particular report that or this particular assessment that we did it is going to save it somewhere for you so you can go back to start and then when you press these three things over here it is going to take you to your assessment and you can have a look at all the assessments that you've done over the years you can as well scroll down to see the less likely causes and the symptoms 
and then of course you can export it or share it as a pdf you share the report as a pdf or delete the assessment if you don't want it anymore so next up is word app there is a particular app that allows you to learn different vocabularies that is to improve upon your vocabulary day in day out so if you open the app this is the face page that you're going to see you can either sign up or you register later now it provides you with a lot of words that is if you go to the discover words you're going to discover over 299 words you can set limits for yourself as to the number of words that you want to learn for a particular day week or month so anytime you see a word like this you either already know it and then you can drag it over here or you don't know it and then you can drag it over to should learn so assuming you don't know this word you just drag it to should learn and then it adds up to the words that you're going to learn so anywhere that you don't know you just drag it to all that you don't know and then you can learn that one now when you click on it it shows you the meaning and then it can also pronounce it over for you so assuming this word voluntarily that is it it provides or it pronounces it for you now when you head back here it comes up with some animations that is very fancy so you quit anyway so these are seven words that i don't know or assuming i don't know so over here i can learn this particular word when you click on it it takes you to the meaning it gives you meaning it uses it in examples and news wherever this word has appeared it just uses it for you to understand it very well and as well it can pronounce it for you to get a clear meaning of it the settings you can do a couple of things you can select your native language and then you can set your practicing reminders so at 12 pm and 4 pm each day this app will remind me that I need to check out my vocabulary. So at least I go to check out about two or three, four, five, or any number of words that you want to learn. This app is super helpful if you want to check out your vocabulary. Number four is wardrobe. If you've been on this channel for a while, you can see that I'm so fascinated about HD wallpapers. For example, the wallpaper on my home screen right now. I got it from wardrobe they provide you with super crispy wallpapers that you can use on your phone and they are absolutely free you don't need to credit anyone but you don't need to think about anything like copyright so you can browse through the wallpapers that has been provided for you and then over here too you can browse through a lot of them you can as well do a search over here as to what you want to search over so assuming i go for like tech or anything technology and then i search it it pops out wallpapers of tech stuff so you can see this one here these wallpapers are super cool so anyone that you want to download all that you have to do is you click on it like that and then you download it from this side so when you click on this button here it is going to download it for you and then you can use it for your wallpaper so let's try something out like fashion and let's see what we're getting for fashion there are a whole lot of categories that you can search out for and mind you this is absolutely free you can use them for free without anything like copyright or any other stuff like that so last on the list is adobe scan if you are somebody who enjoys reading pdfs just like myself you might want to convert all your written notes even into pdfs so that you can access them even from your phone your laptops anywhere anytime this is what this particular app does it allows you to scan all your written notes into pdfs and then you can access them from anywhere so this is how it works you hit on the plus sign over here and then you go to scan from camera so it is basically going to scan as to where you want it to scan so it scan this and then it saves it over here so what you're going to do is you're going to save it to pdf and then when it finished loading like this one you save it as pdf and then it saves as pdfs basically that is how it works for you so when you click on it you can access it as a pdf and it can be saved on your phone on your laptop and you can access them anywhere anytime 
So yes, those were my five free apps of the month of March. Let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite, which one you've used before and the apps that you want to see in the subsequent videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll get back to you with another one. It's Innocent here. Bye.